Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit. Uh, we are talking about the HRSD series and this is the 10th session of the HRSD series and in this session we will talk about the service activity and using the service activity as I mentioned earlier, we can generate the approval, we can generate the task, we can generate the child HR services. So we will know one by one. Uh, if you see here in the last sessions we uh, we talk about the HR template and then from there we created a HR service and the HR service name is a payroll issue and in the HR services we select the fulfillment type is a service activity and once we select the uh, fulfillment type equal to service activity in the bottom you will be able to see one service activity related list in the bottom based on the order it will be generate keep going to uh, keep generating the task keep going to generate the approvals We'll see one by one uh, how it works and then uh, we will uh, discuss further. Okay, so without wasting time, let's get started. So first I'm going to uh, show that a HR case. So I'll type the HR case and then open any of this HR case that was generating last uh, few days. So let's say I'll open this payroll HR case here. And then whenever we are uh, creating the HR case, it is generating assignment groups, right? So let's say the first approval we are needed from the assign, uh, assignment group manager. So we'll select this uh, particular user call uh, this user and this group manager is the, the HR tier group manager is the this user. So whenever the first task will be generated, the first approval will go to the manager of this, uh, you know, the assignment groups, the, that will be the first task. And then second, uh, we are going to uh, uh, create uh, a uh, task where we can take the sum input from the user. So let's start one by one. So very first thing is that, in the HR service activity, I'm going to create a new HR service activity. And in this new HR service activity, I have to define that which type of service activity I am going to declare. In our case, the first I'll generate a approval. So once I select the approval, you can see the activity name is approval. And here I'll define that, uh, you know, group manager, assignment group manager approval. So this will be generated the first approval. And here we will uh, uh, select the order equal to 10. The next thing is that missing any approval. So if the approval is some case it's missing, what will be happen? Uh, so that is defined uh, missing any approvals. If in case any approval is missing, what will be happen? Uh, so it's mentioned the skip missing or else you can uh, select the replacement. Instead of replacement, you can put some replacement here. We'll uh, set as it is the skip missing. Missing all approvals. Uh, so you can define that the uh, select a replacement or close incomplete something like that so wait for it will be wait until unless anyone is approved or all the member or first response for anyone so what is the your preference you can define here our case let's say if uh, the manager is approved i mean anyone is approved it will be go to the further steps and here on the rejection on the rejection um you have a options called resubmit of approvals and close incomplete Resubmit of approvals means if somebody rejected the case, we the the whoever is a generator they can resubmit again. So I'll show you that. Now who will be approval? You can define directly the approval name. I mean the approval group directly here. You can select that. Otherwise you can directly select any of these uh, user from here. In this case you can directly select the user. Or else, our case, what we are assuming that from the assignment group, uh, we'll pick the manager and then uh, set the approval. So let's do that. So for that, I'll just uh, uh, minimize that and then select here and I'll open this approval from case. And then here I can select a, a, a particular case here. So specifically, uh, you know, um, some. Uh, approval so our case i cannot see that assignment group manager i can see the open by manager or subject person manager or uh, subject person manager or open for manager so let's assume or uh, 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 let's create here i'll create here and then uh, in this case uh, the table uh, the name will be uh, here our case is the um, let's say assignment uh, group uh, 
manager so that will be the name and here our case is the payroll we have to be select the case name is payroll and here we have to select the field in our case assignment groups and then inside that we have a manager so assignment group manager will be our target person so if in case the here is the out of box is available approvals from in case if it is not available you can create your own i just created that assignment group and it can be leveraged in uh, future also that is done we will just submit that so the first activity is that it will generate a approval uh, for assignment group manager so that activity is done let's go back to that our hr uh, services and you can see the bottom we have a one um uh, uh, one uh, approvals activity and then that is order is a 10 next activity we are going to create that the activity name is that task in the task we are going to in the task you have to define the template and you have to put the name so we'll say the name is the uh, verify the checklist so verify uh, checklist okay so this will be our uh, first task and here we have to be select the HR template in case you don't have the HR template we need to be create that in last video I talk if you talk uh, regarding that how we can create the HR template I'll select the order is 20 and then I'm going to create a HR template for the HR template you have to type the HR template here and you have to be open this HR template I'm going to create a HR template here name call um, HR payroll uh, task checklist okay so this will be our uh, um, uh, um, you know the template name and here I will select the payroll uh, uh, I will select the task HR task because as I mentioned that uh, if we want to do for payroll you can do otherwise um, for task generation you have to select the HR task owning group I will say the payroll so basically owning group is the person who is going to manage this template in future and then I will simply submit that one once I submit that I will open again so as I mentioned earlier also in my last session that HR template um, I, whenever you open this template it will be open in a template view instead of a, a classic view let's open that now whenever you open the second time uh, you can see that uh, this is how it looks like that here you can put the uh, short description I'll put the same short description and here you can see the optional optional means that this task can be optional or this task can be mandatory so our case it lets assume that uh, this is a mandatory task and here we have that various type of HR task type so what uh, what are the tasks we can do from a user we can collect some user input from the user uh, we can check the checklist we can take the signature we can mark as a complete something like that you can take the survey we can ask the user to upload some document you we can put the URL uh, video something like that so our case it's a checklist we'll select the checklist and here we'll define the checklist name so let's assume the checklist name is all um, something like that these are the things you can uh, you know create that and here assignment type uh, who to whom we should assign this task so let's say if you see that whenever the task will be created you have employee or fulfiller to whom we are going to assign uh, assign this task so our case let's assume that the fulfiller is going to assign and then by default you can see the check is the parent case assigned to so from the parent case it will be inherited otherwise if you want to specify some user you can specify uh, let's say exam, uh, uh, let's uh, assume that uh, this task will be assigned the first task will be assigned to the whoever is the assigned to so we'll select that assigned to so we'll check from the assigned to and then what will be the uh, uh no task state we will mark as a ready state and then uh you can see all these tasks is done uh we'll just uh, submit that so this will be our uh now here uh in 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 this case we are going to say that hr payroll here uh we will select this one and then submit okay so now if I go back here in our HR services, let's go back to the HR service. So in this HR service, we have a 
first task is the approval and second task is a uh, task so let's go back here and then create a case and see how it is working so we click here and then here i will select the able tutor as per our uh, uh, so far we are doing here we will select the hr service equal to payroll issue and then here uh, we will select the payroll issue and simply create that case so once we click the create the case it will simply create the case and it will be assigned to a particular uh, groups so this is assigned to a particular groups and then uh, if i open these groups this group have a some manager is the alien uh, morton so this user will have that manager now at that moment we don't have any approvals you can see we don't have any approvals and uh, there is no approval uh, tab is available here we have the similar case uh, similar kind of case and we have that user who opened similar kind of case uh, so now we we'll click ready to work ready for work so once we we'll select the ready for work as per our uh, activity it should generate the first approval so very first thing it's assigned some user based on this assignment group and once it is assigned it should generate some approval so let's refresh the form one more time now you can see there is the one field available that is for approval and then approval is um, but called requested and if i scroll down there is one approval is generated and this approval generated for the assignment group manager so that's for our expected so once we approve that as per the next requirement it will generate a um, task for the user so let's approve this one once the uh, approval is approved if i go back to here and then uh, if i scroll down there is a one task is assigned to a user who is the assigned to member so this user is a right now um, this is the user they can open this task and they can fulfillment all this checklist and complete that basically these things happens for uh, uh, from the portal so i'll open this um, impersonate that user who is uh, assigned to and um, you know open the portal so let's impersonate the user first so this is the portal um, so now you can see in the portal uh, how it looks like in the top there will be a uh, username and here there will be a to do um, to do list once you click the to do list you can see that all the uh, open task which is assigned to you and all these tasks you have completed so far this user doesn't have completed any of this task so if i open this task so somehow the user cannot see here from this button um, so probably they should have something is needed uh, normally they should have these options to mark this complete but going back to the plot um, but going back to the platform uh, if i go back to the platform and open this uh, task for the user they have a options called a uh, start work once they click the start work this uh, this uh, task will be uh, started and then they have a button close uh, called close complete close incomplete button uh, so where they can close complete or close incomplete by default this checklist should came up but some reason this checklist is not available here we have to check that but again the task can be closed complete here so here you can define the work notes it's uh, done something like that and mark ok and simply close that so now our task is closed and then if i go back to the hr task it's still in the ready state because we have not defined anything um, i mean we have not defined that what steps needs to be taken care of after that so the, basically in that way we can create that approval and we can create the task and we can take the um, you know we can complete the task so that's it for today uh, in next video we'll talk about few more things so thank you very much have a great day